Well, hello, Stampers. It's the Pampered Stamper, and it is Wednesday, which means it's time for stamping through my stash. It's way later than it's supposed to be, but the continuing internet problems are still plaguing me. Um, my tech person is coming tomorrow to fix it at my house, and I'm at my daughter Steph's house, and I'm babysitting little August, and he's sleeping now, so now I can do my video. It's been a week. For sure. The good news is that my vehicle is being repaired fully under warranty, which is an absolute miracle. So I'm super grateful for that. I have a beautiful suite to share with you. And unless you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator who is attending the Creativity Now online event next week, you will not have seen this suite. And I just got it and I thought, you know what, I want to make something with this because it's pretty fantastic. This will be in the new holiday mini catalog, and I'm guessing that a lot of you are going to want to put it on your wish list. Um, I think the holiday mini starts September 1st, but August 1st, as a demonstrator, you can start with that. So you can put it in the starter kit if you don't want to wait till September. So let's take a peek. It is called Winter Leaf Treetops, and I love birds. So. I'm really what I like about this is that it's a winter stamp set, but it's not a Christmas stamp set. It can be used for Christmas, obviously, but it's, um, yeah, sending thanks and so much love, thinking of you always, a friend like you brings me happiness. So those are the stamps, and then here are the dies. Let's have a look. So we have this one, and let's move this over here, and this one. So this one cuts out the bow, this one cuts out the birds, oops, 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 this one cuts out this little bird with the branch in his beak. Then we have a greenery die, we have a little branch die, and other greenery die, this sprig die, that cuts out this one, and just a minute, let me see, underneath all my stuff, there is the last die and I had to improvise because I didn't well we'll get to that later then there's this one isn't that beautiful and it looks like this when it's cut out it's the only green shade I had with me here I had to pack some stuff and I did not think of taking a, my mossy my one piece of mossy meadow was too small and okay so then there are also embellishments to go with it so those are pretty. Earth Tones Shimmer Gems. There is an embossing folder, this one. Birchwood 3D embossing folder. And this is one of those huge embossing folders. It's bigger than the stamp set. It is a hair short of six inches by eight and a half inches. So huge embossing folder. And this is what it looks like. That's a four by six inch piece. And the last thing that goes with this set is some beautiful paper. So, oh yeah, here, you know what? I did some die cutting. I just have to find out where I put them. Oh my goodness. Oh, here they are. Because part of stamping through my stash is, of course, the stamping. So we need to do that. So I stamped this one. And this one. And here are the birds. See? And then there, here is the sprig. Oh, and I forgot to show you one. There's one more die that I haven't used and I haven't cut out yet. And it's this one here. It's a little branch. So, see, and then the branch could, maybe you could add some sprigs or whatever like that to it. I don't know. So that's cool. And then um, before I stamp, so I'm going to stamp these. You know, maybe we can do that right away. I'm being a little bit scattered today. I will admit to that. My kids would probably laugh. And you know what? I don't feel like putting them all on blocks. So I'm going to put them on my Stamparatus. I have five Stamparatuses left in Chatham. If you want one, let me know. $67 plus shipping. That's a really good deal because then you didn't have to, no tax on there. And... I had to pay shipping from Stampin' Up! already, too. But I just want to find a good home for them. So here we have A Friend Like You Brings Me Happiness. Then we have Sending Thanks and So Much Love. 
and then we have thinking of you always. So I'm just going to take these off. Okay. It's a nice rubber stamp there. Oh, and now we'll just ink it up. I'm just using memento black. And I can see that this one is sitting crooked on my. But that's okay. I don't have to have it straight. Nice big letters, big words. I really like it. I love the font. See? Sending thanks and much love. A friend like you brings me happiness and thinking of you always. I think it's great. This is sticking to the magnet underneath. And now I want to show you one more really, really cool thing about this whole suite. Okay. And I just want to put in a plug to Hyundai and Van Kester and Auto. Who would have heard of a full warranty on an engine that's 10 years old with 254,000 kilometers on it? And it's like they're replacing it for free. So, so here is the paper. And look at this. You can already guess where I'm going with this, right? Two of the dies. This one. And the bigger one cut out these images. I will cut them out and then I'll use them on a card. How cute is that? What I also like about the paper is the paper can inspire you how to color your own stamped images. So there's that. I don't know if the sprig die cuts out any of that. This one? I don't think so. But we'll look on the other paper. So this one cuts out those birds. So that's exciting. Let's see. Maybe I should zoom out, but it's really nice. So winterly treetops. And then this one, I might use this for today's card because I want to do something simple. I need simple today. My brain is ready to explode. Um, because, you know, my house is also, my, my son is moving out of my house. And on Saturday, the first Airbnb people come in. So that's also going on. So there's a lot happening. My mom is doing okay. So I'm happy to, that's great news too. Okay, so here, this is upside down. Take a look. This is like, you can see the little birds in the weeds. Isn't that cute? This is upside down. Here we go. So this goes with a lot of our other products too. This, um, we have the, in the Grove dies that will go really well with this. And really nice, um, this looks like Pool Party, Lost Lagoon. Now see here we get more of the Christmassy feel, right? The holly berries, but it's really just winter. I see some chickadees, some uh, juncos. And this too could go for something totally different. Like this is just a very nice neutral. The colors are not being totally true here. And then here is another one where you can just use this in strips you can cut do some fussy cutting but it's just beautiful beautiful paper so let's go back to the one this one so remember for cheer corner i was talking about one of my favorite products in the catalog and that is the assorted memories and more cards and envelopes so if i take the big one here and a little one and then we'll see what we do you know what? I'm struggling. I've already cut, I've already folded that one in half. So I'm looking for a little one without trying to open up the package. Here we go. Here's the little one. All right. So we're going to fold that in half. It's always tricky when you do this with your hands when you are using a white card because if you didn't wash your hands really well or if you just put makeup on, it can ruin your card. So I'm going to take this 12 by 12. Let me zoom out a little bit there. I'm zoomed in pretty far, which is a little bit unfortunate. So I'm taking this and I'm just going to cut it in half at six inches. And then we're going to cut it at four inches. I should show this. So you just push the paper straight up. There's a 
an edge to, there to keep it all straight. So I'm going to four. And then I'm just going to do another one at four. So you'll get six card fronts out of this paper. Just didn't cut his face off, so that's great. So any of those are going to make a beautiful card. Okay, so those are the three. And let's just move this pretty paper out of the way. So here is the Large Memories and More card. And look, it looks just pretty, just like that. And then we can use a banner with the words. I'm just looking to find where I printed this. And I'm thinking I might want to just ink this up one more time so that it's a little bit darker. That's the beauty of the Stamparatus. So this, these would also make wonderful hospice cards. I know that the Chatham Kent Hospice is looking for cards. So and, you know, we always needed cards for those kinds of things, which is sad but true. So look at that. I like the thinking of you always. I don't know if I have what... I'm going to see which guys I have here with me, and then we'll cut one out. Okay, so I put some tear and tape on the back of this because I ran out of my liquid adhesive and forgot to bring more. And so just line up the top corners, and if they're the same as both edges, then you know that you're pretty well centered. Okay, so that is the card. And then, look, here is the thinking of you always. So if it's just flat, it's not nearly as nice as if you just take a couple of dimensionals and pop it up. You could add a gem, you could add some... Um, Thread or something, but I'm leaving it simple. Uh, here we go. And now I see, see these branches. That coordinates with that one die, this one, with the little bumpies on it. I was wondering what they were. They looked a little bit like Christmas lights, but they're not. So uh, just a very nice, simple Thinking of You Always card. This came from, the Thinking of You Always is from this set that we're using, the Winterly Treetops. And the die, hmm, I thought I brought the dies here, but they're on my counter. Let me grab them. These dies are available right now. They're called Unbounded Love, number 163383. And look, we've got lots of them. I use this one here. So these are fantastic dies. I showed them in a previous video. It's probably on YouTube. Um, yeah, love them. Love them, love them, love them. And the stamp set that goes with it is in all four languages, so English, French, Dutch, and German. So that's really nice to know. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I should die cut the birds yet. I'll do that for a minute and I'll show those to you as well before we call this a day. So I cut out the little birds and then if you see this, there's a, I fussy cut those little berries. There were two left on the piece of paper and then look how cute this is. I can add the berries right there and add just a little pop of color there. Of course, you could add the gems too, but you've already paid for the paper, so you might as well use it. And then the last tip I have for you is, you see how this bird is cut off on the, on the end? We're still going to use that bird. So I'm going to die cut him, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that bird. So I have a little bird, a half a bird. Let me do this. We're going to open up our card. And we're just going to put it right along that edge. And now we have, and his tail's kind of hanging loose too, it's giving a little bit of a dimension. And so since I don't know who's going to get this card, um, I'm going to leave it blank in the inside, but that pop of a bird in the inside just makes this card beautiful. So you can use all the images in the paper. All right, guys, that's a wrap. I hope that you've enjoyed stamping through your stash, or stamping through my stash. And I forgot to mention in the intro that the reason I do stamping through my stash is twofold. Number one, when you get your dies and your stamps and all your things, you should use them to make sure that they are all working properly, that your dies are cutting crisply and that your stamps are stamping with also with a nice, clean, crisp image. It's not very often, but sometimes there can be a flaw. 
and you want to catch that in the first three months because then you have a full warranty and you'll get a new one sent to you. If you wait longer than three months, it could get tricky. The second reason is that if you ink up your stamps right away and use the things that you bought, you are far more likely to be inspired and to use them instead of just letting them, you know, forgetting about them and letting them gather dust. So be a user, not just a collector. And remember, don't just make cards, send cards, because together we can change the world one card at a time. Have a super day. And remember, there's always a warm and welcome place waiting for you on my team. Get your own discount. You don't have to teach classes in order to have your own discount. Okay? Ask me if you want any more details. I'm here for you. Bye.